Hello and welcome back to Hardrest Info. In this video, I will be showing you how to disable Chrome Auto Updates. Let's begin! So, Chrome is the most popular browser in the world, that is very obvious. However, um, lately they've been adding and changing their engine, their browsing engine, so that any kind of ad block won't work. And unfortunately, these updates do work and they do block any kind of ad blockers. So, we can try to reverse updates and then we can try to stop Chrome from updating. There are a couple of ways to do it and I'm going to show the main two and I would also advise you to do them to do these two simultaneously or just do them one by one so you know in case one fails the other one will try to do its work. So the very first thing to do is basically go into uh, your files and change a very certain name um, of the update file. And the update file can be found if we go to this PC, local disk. You should see program files x86 folder. In here, you want to go into Google. Then go to Google up, uh, Update. And here we have Google Update. Currently, it is, uh, it is a type of application, meaning that it is uh, well applicable and it can be run. So let's try to not remove it, but let's try to change its extension so it no longer works. We can try to do that by just manually typing it, or we can use command prompt and a very simple command that you can copy from the description of this video. So let's go to Windows, let's input our command prompt, and it's very important to open it as administrator, otherwise it won't work. In the command prompt, there is one very important thing we need to do first, and it's color A. And now we are hackers. Uh, just joking, of course, but you know, uh, we can do that if we want to. And now we need to run this command. I'm not going to just copy and paste it, but you can from the description of this video. So let's go. First, we need to do uh, basically the rename uh, and that is the command. We'll be renaming this file from Google Update.exe to Google Update.back. Now we want to open parentheses and inside of them we want to copy this um, this path here. So let's just hit Ctrl C. Let's go back and let's just copy and paste it. Now let's add another backslash and let's uh, finish it with Google Updates.exe. That being this file right here. If you don't know if it's exe, you can always go to the view and base and go with file name extensions. As you can see, this is the full name of that file. So now, uh, after the parentheses, oh sorry, we want to uh, basically input the changed file of the name. For us, it's the Google Update. Dot back or B A K, -K uh, if you like. Now we just hit enter, and it's gone. And as you can see, it even changed right here, so it's no longer an application, and it's no longer an exec executable application that can run. However, there's also other other um, the other way of. Uh, removing the auto update and that being removing it from the task list. You can you see that um, basically in your task list um, it will automatically uh, put some stuff and it will automatically run it. So we need to remove it from this list and to do that we can use a nice uh, application called Autoruns so we can just search for it. We can download it from official Learn Microsoft um, Learn Microsoft uh, uh, site. Uh, currently, it is set in Polish, but for you, it's probably it will probably be English. We can try to just remove this thing, I believe, and it should be in English for you. Yeah, exactly. So now we are on the good site. I will just want to hit download auto runs and auto runs. It will download a zip file. As you can see, I've, I have 
uh, downloaded before, so let's go to our downloads folder and let's just eat it out of there. Mm, I will create a folder uh, in the desktop uh, so I can, you know, just remove it easily later. But I'm going to put it inside of it. And you can use any applications, uh, any application that you want in order to extract the zip file. I am using WinRAR. I'm going to extract right here. And now we can remove the zip since it's no longer necessary. Now we can uh, activate uh, our autoruns.exe. And here we have every single thing that should automatically work. Uh, we have the Steam, uh, like automatically enabling itself. We have the EA, all of that cool stuff. Now we want to go to Quick Filter and just search for Google. And here we have a couple of things. First of all, we have, um, oh, let's just hit enter, so it is visible. Mm. And here we have a couple of things. The first of all, we have the Google Chrome installer. Currently, it is verified by Google. And as you can see, uh, it will try to uh, install our software. So all you have to do is just disable it from running. But we have to run it as administrator. So yeah, I forgot to mention you have to update, you have to use this application as an administrator. So now you can search for Google once again, and now we have a, ver a very different look. So first of all, we have the Chrome Google Chrome installer right here at the top. I am I am not sure if you can disable it. So because it might just bro break your uh, Chrome but you definitely want to disable it from the task scheduler and the services right here from Google updated internal service and the Google updater service. So you, all you want to all of these to be disabled. You might want to add this to be all disabled as well, uh, though it might as well break your Google Chrome, so be mindful of that. After you've done changing, you can just close it. And now uh, our Google Chrome shouldn't really update itself automatically. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it helpful or if you have a different method, make sure to leave a comment down below. Yep, that's it. I have nothing left to say, uh, except the part that I have a little warning for you, uh, removing the update list and making your Chrome engine or any kind of browser engine not up to date is a dangerous thing to do. Uh, as I said in the beginning of this video, uh, the Chrome browser is indeed the most powerful browser in the world, meaning that it gets uh, very uh, dangerous, let's say. Um, due to any kind of security leaks or hacker attacks or all of that. And if you don't have the newest version, you are just not um, protected from these kind of threats. Uh, instead, I would advise you to switch browsers. It's as simple as that. Um, I have two recommendations. The very first one is Mozilla Firefox. Since it is one of um, little amounts of... Okay, let's go to English maybe. Uh, it is a very different kind of uh, browser, like you use it normally, like I would any other, but it is not based on Chromium, meaning that uh, their extensions, the uBlock for example, does work on Mozilla without any issues. The other recommendation is Brave Browser. You can also switch to English. Uh, you probably heard of it, it's, it has a built-in ad blocker that also works perfectly fine. So instead of you know trying to uh, remove updates from the Chrome which is not only hard to do but also pretty dangerous on its own I would just advise you to switch browsers so you can for example go somewhere else and you know enjoy your internet browsing just like before but on a slightly different browser without any ads but yeah that's all for this video if you found it useful please Remember to like and subscribe, thanks for watching.